Hello and welcome to this course on Cloudera Altest Director. In this video, we will see how to deploy a cluster using Cloudera Director. So, we have installed Cloudera Director on this uh, AWS EC2 instance. Let's take the IP address and uh, open the browser. Use 7189. That is a port where Cloudera Director is running and uh, use the default credential like admin admin so username as admin and password as admin never then login so the page looks like this so first thing we need to add an environment so if we are doing the deployment in aws you need to add that environment like uh, aws keys and uh, the other details like the region you want to deploy all these things you need to add it here so i'm going to add a, a new environment so we can add it from here add a new environment or just hit here and add a new environment and uh, you will be prompted with a page where you can you need to fill the detail so environment and name i'm just using aws underscore test or any name you can choose and the cloud provider so we have got uh, three options here one is AWS Google Cloud Platform and Azure and access key and secret key you need so we can get this information from the AWS console so first thing you need to have a uh, user which is having uh, privileges on EC2 instance creation and managing so go to AIAM, so Identity and Access Management Console. So you can just hit search IAM here and get that page. So under IAM, so you need to choose on which user you need to create uh, that uh, key. So just uh, check, uh, expand this and manage security credential just go to this manage security credential option and uh, continue so here we have an option like access key and uh, secret key so we can create a new access key by hitting this one okay and go, you can download this as a file or just exp show the uh, click show this key to get that key detail so this key uh, is very important so if anyone get this key so he should be able to deploy the vm here okay so we will just copy that key access key we are just copy and uh, pasting here the access id is the same as access key and uh, secret key that is nothing but uh, this secret access key copy that add it here and uh, the region where you want to deploy so if you just move your mouse here so you can see the different uh, region where the support so we have choose uh, asia pacific ap southeast and uh, that is the region where we deployed our other vms okay we can just go to the ec2 and uh, running in census you can see on availability zone AP Southeast 1A, 1B, 1C like that. So I choose that uh, 1B, AP Southeast 1. And uh, this one also, we can just use AP Southeast 1. SSH credential. So uh, when whenever we, we just check the EC2 console, so here you can see the key pair. So there should be some key pair which you already created if you have not created we can create from here create the key pair and download that pem file so that is used for authentication so username in my case i'm just using centos okay so the image which i am using uh, will be okay just to hit expand this one and uh, choose that file so we have got two options direct input so where you can copy and paste or file upload here 
you need to choose that PEM file we have uh, downloaded. So go to the desktop, then hit private keys and uh, choose this uh, PEM file HDP admin. So that key I used and uh, this is the username. Go ahead and hit continue. So now environment has created. Okay. And if you just hit here, so you can see AWS uh, test environment has uh, created. And uh, so that's it about adding a new environment. I hope this is uh, very clear to you. So we'll see in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.